Good evening. I am going to be in Dubai in the last week of February. My team wants to do an event between 24th and 25th of February. So there are going to be two events, one on the 24th and one on 25th. Those desirous of attend the event, not only from Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Sharjah, but from the rest of Emirates, can contact my team at the phone number given below. The WhatsApp number is also given below. There's an email ID and there's a Google form. You can use any of these methods to connect us and my team would be glad to help you. See you in Dubai. Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. One of the questions I've been asked, it's um, Tata Gold ETF. It was launched some time back and is uh, trading right now. Tata Mutual Funds has launched it and it's a fund of fund in gold ETF. So what is first gold ETF fund of fund? Let's first discuss that. Gold fund ETF fund of funds is, is an indirect investment into gold. Instead of directly buying physical gold or buying, you know, electronic gold, it's another way of buying gold. It is a very liquid version of buying gold in the sense that you can sell it very easily because it's through your app. You can buy it and when you need to sell it, you sell it and you get whatever the market price is and it tracks gold. Basically, that's the point of it. But the fund of fund is different because in the fund of fund, you not only is a fund company not only investing in gold, they're investing in other things which are allied to gold. So it's just not they're buying gold bees, they'll be buying some physical gold, they'll be buying some gold ETFs, they'll be buying diversifying within gold ETFs. So the investment alone is in multiple gold ETFs. So it's kind of trying to spread the risk. So that you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gold ETFs and there'll be a portioning into different gold ETFs instead of you concentrating only on one ETF. Because if you go and see gold ETFs, there are many types of gold ETFs available. So they diversify into multiple ones. So, but do realize this company, which is, whichever is offering you the fund of funds, they'll be charging you a fund fee. And the multiple funds they're investing into, those are also charging fund fees. So you're actually getting double charge. So that is something to keep in mind. Liquidity is the main thing which people do and because it's very easy to get rid of it and take the money back because usually there's demand in the market for this kind of ETFs. So investors can buy and sell these units, very small units, depending on the type of units cost they're offering. You can buy very small amounts or buy large amounts as in which when you desire. So because it is a fund of fund, it can uh, be have a certain charge compared to buying a gold bees, for instance. But it also, it is considered a better option than buying physical gold for the simple reason. Physical gold has, you know, cost involved in it in terms of storage. Even if you're buying just pure gold coin and there's no wastage or whatever, but you need to physically store that gold and you need to keep an eye on it. And you're tethered to it, meaning if you move, your job takes you from Chennai to Bangalore or Bangalore to Bombay, your locker is in, stuck in Chennai. And if you don't have family here, like most people live in a small nuclear family nowadays. These long, large extended families are think of the past. Most of you who are watching this video are a single child or maybe there's only you and your brother and or you and your sister. So you can't rely on anybody to take care of these physical gold assets for you. So coming back and forth to manage these gold assets can be a very painful thing. So that way it's much better and it's cost effective. If you factor all that into physical gold, gold ETFs can be cost effective. And another thing is gold ETFs are professionally managed. There's a guy who's sitting, a fund manager, who decides watching global gold markets, he'll settle and buy and he'll keep making changes to it and fine-tuning it. That's the point of a professional manager. So that is supposed to be something to consider. I don't put much stock into this. Anand also doesn't put much stock into it because whatever they're doing, you can do us yourself. But if you're a person who has zero time, zero bandwidth and, you know, don't know anything about gold and gold market, maybe this is better for you. It's something to think about, someone managing it for you. And uh, similarly, taxation when it comes to gold ETF, uh, fund of funds have similar to that of a debt mutual fund uh, when it comes to taxation. So that's also something to keep in mind and uh, could be different from physical gold taxation when you're buying and selling. So that's also something to keep in mind. And what are the main difference between this ETF and gold bees? Because gold bees is one of the original benchmark index traded fund scheme which we launched in India. And uh, it's known uh, as the Nippon Index ETF gold bees. And the primary difference between this and the ETF is it's a fund of funds. So 
gold bees directly invest in physical gold each unit of the etf is gold bees is like represents a certain quantity of physical gold and the etf value tracks the gold price physical gold price actually while the fund of fund uh, gold etfs include potentially gold bees they'll be investing they'll be directly holding some physical gold themselves and offers exposure to performance of other several gold etfs through a single investment so that is a fund of fund so kind of spreading your risk and uh, the objective of the etf is to track the gold bees is to track the gold price closely providing returns before expenses closely corresponding to that and the returns of a physical gold while the fund of fund provides returns mirroring that but it's a composite performance of various etfs it's just not the bees so it offers some kind of diversity which i've spoken about before both can be bought through your app whichever app you're using like how you buy mutual funds you can buy it you know you don't need anything special for it and both of them offer liquidity they are very highly liquid so you can sell it whenever you want and take the cash also it comes back to you immediately so this is in terms of cost and expense ratio of course fund of funds will be more expensive because it has its own expense ratio and the things they're investing to they carry their funds so that is something to keep in mind now coming to tatas so i've told you now broadly what is a gold fund of fund i've told you what bees are now gold tatas themselves have launched under the tata mutual funds they've launched the gold etf fund of funds which was announced by uh, tatas in uh, public subscription started in 2nd jan 24 and it closed in 1624 and reopened for continuous sale that means anyone can buy and trade now since the 24th of jan so you can go and see the little bit of history what is there in the gold price etf movement and i've told you the fund type also it is it's an open ended fund that means the primary investment in this aims to investors seeking long term capital growth is what they're hoping for and it uh, parallelly provides by the tata gold etf which is already there these are the objectives the details can be the investor can start investing a minimum of 5000 rupees per plan is one option with no upper limit so you can put as much as you want and multiples of one and the asset allocation uh, would be a majority of the units will be put into 95% to 100% in tata gold etf with high risk and minimum portion around 0 to 5% in debt and uh, money market instruments bearing medium risk so this is the way they plan to they have announced that they'll be putting most of the money so is this unique is this the only one no there are similar etfs already launched and is available in the market one is the uti mutual fund the lic mutual fund the icici prudential mutual fund dsp mutual fund offering opportunity to invest in gold related assets similar to this so it's not anything unique or new but it of course it has a tata brand on it the tata name on it the tata trust is on it so a lot of investors of i can understand why you've been asking about it because it is the tatas who have launched it so is it safer is it better yes if you are a tata fan and you believe in the tata brand you will feel affinity towards it you will be biased towards it like me and anand are anything related to tata because we have a long history with the tatas so that bias can be there so keep that in mind why is it considered high risk any gold etf is considered high risk fund of fund is considered high risk the reason why is because tracks gold price and gold price is highly volatile gold prices move on a hourly minute basis if you really see it if you track gold and see if you are in the gold market you will see gold prices can be volatile and influenced by a range of factors by global economic conditions gold is in, influenced by um, interest rates inflation rates geopolitical tension currency values so gold can really move up and down you know it's very volatile so that's why it's considered high risk and of course there is a concentration risk in gold etfs it's only in one asset when you talk about mutual funds comparing it to mutual funds why is it considered high risk one it is volatile two all gold fund etfs you only invested in gold it's like literally buying gold alone so it's like if you invested all put all your eggs in one basket that is why it's considered high risk while other mutual funds like if you have your passive uti nifty 50 fund they've spread it on over a whole bunch of companies 50 companies it's spread over so that is why it's considered concentration risk and of course uh, liquidity risk they say but generally it's very liquid so i won't worry about it if market demand for gold etf drops it can become unit impacts liquidity but it shouldn't be a problem in india india consumes a lot of gold and especially etf shouldn't be a problem in india so these are the kind of things related to gold etf which i want to share with you and the tata gold etf now if you 
comes to the final conclusion, if you are going to invest in gold, should you be investing in the Tata Gold ETF? If you are investing in gold, the best is just to buy gold bees, which is good as buying physical gold. You are just buying because each unit of gold bees is a physical unit of gold. It equals to the same. So you are actually tracking gold and uh, your cost is much lower. This is my personal recommendation and consideration, I would say. But if you want to consider Tata's as a gold option, you can consider. But remember, gold in terms of returns, it doesn't offer stellar returns like what the index fund would offer over a long period of time. We spoke about this, what gold's uh, returns over the last year, 2023, how gold performed against the index and it underperformed against the index. And that's what usually gold does. Unless there is some huge uh, reason in the macro levels for gold prices to move uh, very rapidly towards any one direction. But if you see in the long term, Nifty would offer you better returns. So gold is security and that's all it basically is. So I wouldn't advise you to put too much money into gold if you're investing. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you found it informative and entertaining as always. And I'll see you in the next one soon. Bye. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to brichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.